Hi. Now in this tutorial what I want to do is introduce you to a concept called the probability of A union B. And what I'm going to also show you is what we mean by mutually exclusive events. And we're going to derive a couple of formulas that connect the probability of A union B to the sets A and B. Now what I've got here is a typical Venn diagram showing two events A and B. And when we talk about the probability of A union B, we're talking about essentially the probability that either A happens, that's given by all of this set here, if I just shade it in, okay, like that, or that B occurs, we can shade it, let's say, like this in the other direction. So that'd be everything in B, or both events occur. That's this overlapped shading here in the middle. And we can derive a formula for this. The probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A, that's all of this, plus the probability of B, all of this, minus the probability of the intersection of A and B, A and B. It's written with this kind of N shape and that refers to this overlapped region in the middle here. And how do we show this result? I've seen this come up on several exam papers, prove this result. Well if I had to prove this result I'd most probably do it something like this. I would draw my two sets A and B with the overlap in the middle and what I would do is start with the right hand side. Let's just write that down. The probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B, A intersection B if you like. Okay. What's it going to come to? Well we've got to show that it comes to the probability of A union B. That's this shading up here. Well, what I can do is put some letters in here representing probabilities. Suppose I put an X here and a Y here and a Z in this region. The X here stands for the probability that just A happens and Y means the probability that both events occur. The probability of A would be all of this region, that would be X plus Y. The Z represents the probability of just B occurring, whereas Y and Z represents the probability of all of B. So when it comes to writing in our values for the probability of A, A would be X plus Y. So I put that in there. Plus the probability of B, B would be Y plus Z. So it'd have plus Y plus Z. And then we've got minus the probability of A and B occurring. So that's just going to be Y. So we take away the Y. And what have we got if we simplify this? Well, we've got the X. And then if we group the Y's, we've got 2Y, take away Y. So that's going to be plus Y. And then we've got this plus Z. So you can see we end up adding X plus Y plus Z everything in this region here, which is the probability of A union B. And so there's my proof of that result. Okay, now I did mention at the beginning of the video that I was going to talk to you about what is often referred to as mutually exclusive events. And what do we mean by mutually exclusive events. Well, mutually exclusive events are events that cannot occur at the same time. In other words, what happens is that the probability of A and B cannot occur at the same time, so it will be zero. And if we turn to this general formula that you can apply all the time, then this particular value is zero. Our probability y here would be zero. So what does that mean when it comes to the probability of A union B? 
Well, clearly, the probability of A union B is now going to be the probability of A plus the probability of B, because this bit is just simply zero. And when it comes to drawing a Venn diagram, you could draw this all the time, only the Y value would be zero. And so it does seem a bit pointless. So the Venn diagram I would encourage you to draw is something like this, where there's no overlap. And you can clearly see that A and B are apart, that there is no chance of A and B occurring at the same time, because that probability would be zero. So do remember then, if two events are mutually exclusive, you can use this formula. But in general, always use this formula. Okay? Don't use this formula as a general formula. It is only true if they are mutually exclusive events. Okay, well, I hope you got that. And uh, that brings us now to the end of this tutorial.